We are still tracking the races for Bakersfield City Council as three candidates in Ward 7 look to fill the seat being left open by Chris Parlier, who is stepping down due to health concerns. And two candidates are challenging incumbent Ken Weir in Ward 3. 17's Michaela Armstrong is here with a look at the latest results. Michaela? Right now, this is a look at the numbers of Ward 7. Man pre core with a sizable lead over Tim Collins, core with 55% of the vote so far. And then this is a look at the numbers of Ward 3. Incumbent Ken Weir with 56% of the vote so far. After months of campaigning and discussing issues affecting Bakersfield residents such as crime, homelessness, and quality of life, voters have cast their ballots and candidates are awaiting the results of who will lead these wards. Ward 3 encompasses Northeast Bakersfield and is led by Ken Weir, the incumbent, since 2006. Weir is currently leading the race and says he is hopeful he will lead the ward again for another term. I think we ran a great campaign and I got into areas that I hadn't been in before. I think we we did well in those areas and I'm feeling pretty good right now. I, I think uh, the fifth time I've run for city council, I think people up in that area should know my name by now. And, and uh, all the phone calls I made, people were just couldn't have been nicer and, and more supportive. So I, I think we're in a good path right now. Trailing him are challengers Boyd Benninger and Lonnie Datto. Benninger celebrated election night with his supporters and says he is still optimistic. I'm feeling good. Uh, cautiously optimistic. Of course, you know when you go up against an incumbent, that's always a tough battle. But we've been out there working hard, and I really think we've got a really good chance. Ward 7, the southern end of the city, was left to Canada. And its man pre core Tim Collins and Raj Gill by former council member Chris Parlier. Core is leading the race currently, then candidates Collins and Gill trailing behind her. Core says she owes it all to her supporters. I owe this all to you, whether you volunteer, you made phone calls, you went door to door, you shared a social media post, you believed in this campaign. It's, it was very grassroots, people oriented. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just am full of gratitude and love for every single supporter of our campaign. These races have yet to be called, so they are still races to watch and they will not have a runoff. For 17 News, I'm Michaela Armstrong.